Hi everyone, let's solve question number 37. The domain of the function fx equals to under root 1 minus mod x divided by 2 minus mod x is. So it's a very standard question. This is our function under root 1 minus mod x, 2 minus mod x. And I'll do certain modifications over here to simplify the function. So what I'll do, I'll add 1 and subtract 1 in the numerator. I'll be getting 2 minus mod x minus 1 divided by 2 minus mod x. So that would give me under root of 1 minus 1 upon 2 minus mod x. Now with the property of under root this quantity 1 upon 2 minus uh, 1 upon 2 minus mod x that should always be less than equals to 1. So our basic condition is 1 upon 2 minus mod x is always less than equals to 1. Now I cannot do the direct law cross multiplication over here because it can be either positive or negative. So we don't really know if this is a, if this is a positive number or a negative number. It depends on the value of x. So we'll have two cases over here. So the first case would be mod x greater than 2 and the other case would be mod x less than 2. We cannot have the equality because 2 minus mod x cannot be 0. It's in the denominator. So we have these two cases. Now, if this if this is the case, in that case, uh, 2 minus mod x, that would be less than 0, right? And now if I try to do the cross multiplication, this was our, this was our basic condition. And now if I try to do the cross multiplication over here, we'll have to change the sign of inequality because this is less than 0. So that would give me uh, 1 gr greater than equals to 2 minus mod x. And similarly over here, because this is the reverse condition, I'll be getting 1 less than equals to 2 minus mod x. But over here, the basic condition of basic uh, domain of x over here would be x belongs to minus infinity to minus 2 union 2 to infinity. And over here, x belongs to minus 2 to 2 open brackets. Okay. If I try to solve this one, I'll be getting mod x greater than 1 and over here I'll be getting mod x less than equals to 1. Greater than equals to 1 and less than equals to 1. So with this I'll be getting x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 close bracket union close bracket 1 to infinity. Similarly over here I'll be getting x belongs to minus 1 to 1 close brackets. Now let's try to plot the number lines. So this is our minus 2, this is minus 1, this is 1 and this is 2. The basic condition was open bracket till here, open bracket till here. And what we have got, we have got minus one close bracket. This is, these are open brackets. This is close bracket and this way, and this is close bracket and this way. But we have to take the common, common points only. So these are the common points. So over here, X belongs to minus infinity to minus two union two to infinity, okay. Now, in this case, the basic condition was, let's try to plot the number line. This is minus 2, this is minus 1, this is 1, and this is 2. So the basic condition was minus 2 to 2 open bracket. So this was the basic condition. But what we have got, we have got close bracket minus 1 to 1. So these are the common points. So x belongs to minus 1 to 1. So this union, this, this is the correct answer. So we'll be getting this as the correct, B as the correct answer.